Are you struggling for timing in your golf swing? Just have no consistency hitting the ball left and right? And you're just not sure what to do to get your game back on track? Well in this next video I'm going to show you how feeling the weight of the club head in the golf swing can help you become a lot more consistent, hit the ball longer and straighter and get much lower scores. I'll see you soon. It's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here where I help you make the game of golf easy and help you hit the golf shots that you want to hit. Make sure you like this video and remember to subscribe to the channel. More subscribers I get helps me grow the channel and keep on producing videos like this so we can keep on improving and playing better golf together. So I'll see you very shortly. Hey it's Troy here. So I'm going to show you in this video how to feel the weight of the club head in the golf swing to play much better golf. So the problem we run into in golf is we, we try so hard to get that, that power and that speed in our golf club. More often than not golfers get themselves into trouble is they push hard against the club and they actually it has the opposite effect and you lose a lot of speed and consistency and hit the go golf ball much much worse. So it's really critical that you're able to feel that club head feel this during the golf swing and you'll actually generate a lot more speed and importantly effortless speed so you can play much better golf. So what I want to go through today is I'm going to show you how doing some everyday tasks that, that you probably perform you don't even realize you're actually feeling the weight of the instrument you're using to perform that task and how that relates to golf and how we can play better golf by understanding that. And make sure you stick around because in the next part of the video I'm going to show you a really simple drill you can practice at home to really embed this into your game and hit the golf ball much much easier. So as I said in the beginning most golfers in an effort to hit the golf ball with a lot more power even even sort of consistency with that every shots they play is they they have the habit of really forcing particularly as a right hand and lefties be ex the exact opposite hand is we force with our dominant hand our right and that club head ends up overtaking the hands and results in a lot of weak golf shots and ideally what we want to see happen is for that the hands to lead first and that club head to lag behind and that's what produces a lot of that power. Now I've got a couple of examples of um, tasks that um, you may do and you may have other ones that are other fairly similar I've got a, just got an everyday hammer here. Now if you are banging in a nail somewhere around your home on a fence or whatever it might be, the last thing you would do with this hammer is be, be doing this. You wouldn't be doing this with a really rigid wrist. You wouldn't be thinking I've got to get my elbow in this position, I've got to bend my shoulder back, I've got to bend my knees and do this. You would naturally just pick up the hammer, you'd feel the weight of it, and we just let it flick like that, feeling the weight of the hammer and you'd be banging the nail in and you're not even really thinking about it but what you're doing is you're feeling the weight of that head to bang that nail in, really simple. And again, now this is obviously not something you're going to be doing every day with a sledgehammer like this, this has obviously got a really heavy head. Now do you think if you were using something like this you would never be lifting it up like this and going going like this. You'd end up injuring yourself and getting yourself and it, it wouldn't do the job that it's supposed to do. What you would be doing is you'd pick it up feeling the heavy weight on the end and you'd be letting it come through like that. Letting the weight come through like that. Now the other thing that would happen when you're using an instrument like this you wouldn't be thinking about bending your knees, getting into this posture, you wouldn't be thinking about taking the takeaway here, swinging through, you wouldn't have all these thoughts in your, in your mind about positions, you'd want to get this sledgehammer in. You'd simply pick it up, feel the weight, go back, get your body out of the way, and you'd go bang, and you'd head into the concrete or whatever it is you might be doing. So you're not thinking about swing positions, you're feeling the weight of that head and letting it do its job. 
So with a golf club, all we're doing is we want to feel the weight of this and what will, that will do, it will enable me, I'm just feeling the weight, make a nice smooth swing and come through nice, smooth and balanced. I'll have a lot better timing and hit the golf ball much better. All because all I'm thinking about is feeling that weight and that ends up being a much more effortless golf swing, a lot more simple golf swing and makes the process of hitting the ball much, much easier. I'm not thinking about, I've got to be here, I've got to be here, I've got to be here, I've got to shift my weight, then I've got to shift again, I've got to go here. Eliminating all those complex thoughts in your head and just feeling the weight of that club head just feeling it and we can make a nice balanced swing and just nick the top of that grass just with that one thought that one thought feeling that club head and that just makes all the difference. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you a really simple drill we can practice at home that will really cement this in your game and help you play much better. So I'll see you in the next bit. Drop a comment down below if you used this method to play better golf, just by simply focusing on the feel of the club head the club head weight to play much better golf. So drop a comment down below. I'll reply to all your comments and I'll see you on the next bit. Okay, I'm gonna show you a really simple drill you can practice at home that will help you feel the weight of the club head to make a much better golf swing. So all you're gonna need is obviously we need a club. Grab yourself a tee and all we're gonna do, place that tee in the ground. Now hopefully you can see this on camera. All I'm gonna, try to do is just nick the top of that tee every time and by doing this all I'm thinking about is I'm feeling the weight of the club head during the golf swing I'm gonna let it swing down I'm just gonna nick that tee I might knock it out of the ground but I'm just trying to nick that tee and visualize that would be where the golf ball is and that will help me control the bottoming the bottom arc of the golf swing help us hit a lot more consistent golf shots. So I've got my tee on the ground here, I'm gonna set up to it. All I'm gonna do is feel the weight of the club head, make a nice easy swing, I'm just gonna nick that tee. Let's give it a go. That's all I'm thinking about, feeling that weight. There we go, so we hit that, hit that tee nicely. Actually, actually ended up snapping the tee, but we've bottomed it out We've actually hit the tee where we would have hit the ball first and then there's a little divot that's just gone past where the tee was and it's just shot it out there somewhere and that's a great little drill you can practice at home. Really helps you cement the idea of hitting the ball first and a divot and I'll throw a video up above that goes through that into more detail but that's a great drill you can practice at home and I'll do one more for you. Let's put a tee in. You can have it sticking up sort of about half an inch or thereabouts it doesn't really matter but all I'm thinking about once again is feel the weight of that club head as I make the golf swing nothing else and trying to make a nice balanced swing so we've got our setup feeling the weight of that club head made a nice swing nicked that tee I think it shot it back there somewhere and that, that felt really smooth and comfortable. And that's all I was thinking about, thinking about the weight of this club head and it resulted in a really nice swing. Practice that at home. And once you've done that a number of times, you can take it to the driving range, start actually hitting balls and just focusing on that one feel and you'll hit a lot more consistent golf shots. There you have it. Now you know how to feel the weight of the club head to play much better golf, be more consistent, have better timing and lower your golf scores. So remember to like this video. Also remember to subscribe to the channel. Now below the video I have a link to my free three secret moves video. Make sure you get a hold of that. There'll also be a link to some further golf instruction. Make sure you check that out. If you have any questions or comments, please again, pop those down below. I'll reply to every single comment. Thanks so much again for watching. I'll see you next time.